Why so serious? Let's put a smile on that face. <laughs> Farm hands, Ryan Nash here from Farm Boy Reef. So we're back for another episode of the Joker uh, Pico build. As you guys see here, I got the gumball machine. Um, what I want to do today is I want to uh, dismantle all the components off of here, get everything ready for paint. Um, like I had a few people ask me how am I going to seal it. Well, we're going to take the glass apart. Um, we got to figure out how we're going to seal the bottom. We got to get the plumbing in there, and then uh, like I want to paint this up with like, like a Joker, Joker theme. So we got to get this paint all ready. It's cast iron. I don't want it to rust. So uh, I asked uh, a friend of mine, uh, Reef Weeds, uh, Rachel Fogger, if she could do a nice custom paint job on here for me. She knows how to seal this up so we don't have any uh, rust problems. So today, let's get this uh, all dismantled and get it all broke down and then we can get this all shipped out to uh, Reef Weeds so we can get the paint job done on it. It's gonna be awesome. And I can't wait to get this uh, all filled up, get some coral, some rock in there and some sand and uh, start this contest. So let's go ahead. Um, we're going to take this all apart and I'm going to show you some of the parts that I'm going to use, what, what size of pump for in here, the tubing, everything we're going to need. So first off, let's get it apart. A few uh, pieces, got to get this nut off the top, but make sure you don't lose any parts. So even this piece here, it's even cast iron, so we're going to have to rough that up all a little bit as well. Um, we got to be very careful with the glass, you guys can see. So here's the bottom on it. Um, what I did, I don't know, here, I got a piece of... Uh, acrylic and we're going to cut this perfect size so we're going to etch that on and then we're going to cut that out and everything will be cut and uh, silicone perfectly nice and solid in there and then at the same time i got all the pieces uh let me see here for uh this is quarter to one eighth uh ro line so we're going to figure find out the right size of bit i got bits here we're going to drill the bottom of this circle that's going into the tank this is where i can hide all my tubing and then i'm going to give the piece of live rocks in there I'm gonna drill up through that and I'm gonna hide the tubing inside the live rock. So that'll give it a little bit of flow and keep nice oxygen, oxygenate that air in there. It's gonna be really good. So I got those pieces as well. I'll show you the rest of what's going on there. So that's gonna be the acrylic piece that's gonna cut and I'm gonna cut and put in the bottom of that. So let's keep pulling this apart. So a lot of these pieces, you're not gonna need anymore. It's gonna be end up going in the garbage. This sealed ring is perfect size that goes on the bottom of the tank as well. So I'm gonna keep this piece because it sits perfectly in the rim here. And then I'm gonna put my acrylic piece in here and everything with the silicone, that'll give it a little bit more extra strength. So that's a piece that we definitely wanna keep. And then take out all the guts. So here's part of the stuff for the gumball that we're not gonna use. I'm gonna take this out. Assemble that. Pull these pieces out. And then whoop, pop out the bottom. So now we're getting right down to the bare bones. So there's the bottom piece. So in here, this is where I'm gonna hide all the electrical and the pump and everything in the bottom part. And then I can run my RO line right up through the middle here and put place the pump. It's perfect. Now we just gotta pop the, this is the gear system where you put your quarters in and get your gumballs out. So now we're just right down to the base. See, cast iron, there's under the middle where we can hide all the components. So everything's nice and neat. And then at the same time, if I want to here, I can just drill a hole through it and that's where I can run the cords out for the electrical. We'll see, I'm not sure how I wanna run that out yet. Um, so now that this is down to the bare bones, we can do some, sh we can ship that out to her. Uh, first, I got a wire brush and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the drill, just put the wire brush in the end of the drill here, like that, and then we're gonna go all over it and just rough it up for her. So it has somewhere the paint surface can uh, hook onto and adhere, adhere to it. So that's the plan. And uh, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go outside and we're gonna just start buffing this all up for her and then she can do her magic on it and hopefully everything will turn out sweet. I can't wait to show you what I'm gonna put in this little Pico tank, it's gonna be awesome. So some of the stuff I got for it, I just went and got a little thing of uh, silicone, some high, high heat of silicone. This is gonna be for the bottom to go onto the glass. Um, so this here, I got a Top Fin uh, Air Pump 500. This one's good up to, uh, what does it say? Up to, fits up to a five gallon tank but I'm just gonna put a little valve on it so we can really turn down how much air we want to put into the tank but you guys can just see the size of the box it's gonna go fit right in there perfect so it's gonna hide it away um, I got a little valve so no water because I'm gonna keep the, the air line below the water so this here won't have it any air go any water go back into the air pump and damage it so that's part as well I'll take a picture and all these parts here you can uh, purchase anywhere even like on Amazon all the links are below if you want to go check it out and then I got the little uh, RO connections. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have two, one's for the air 
it wants to do water changes and out the back so I have just whatever I take out put back in it's gonna be very easy to do as well and plus I just got one of these uh, thermos the ther uh, thermometers one of the ones with the sticky back that I can just stick on the side of the tank and I can make sure to see uh, what the temperature is in the tank as well uh, I'm not planning on running a little heater in here it might be warm enough uh, in my lab there to see how this is all gonna work out so that's part of all the components we got here so now what we have to do is we're gonna go outside and we're gonna get the drill and get the wire brush on here and just start roughing that up so the paint can really start to adhere to it and uh, reef weeds uh, Rachel she can do all her magic the Joker theme and I can't wait to see what she comes up with so I want to get this all done tonight and I'm gonna FedEx this thing first thing in the morning get it out so I can get it back and uh, start doing everything assembling everything but what I can do is I can work on the glass get this uh, water tight and everything I need to do before the bottom base gets shipped back up here to Canada all right gang so let's head outside let's start doing some sanding and roughing up all the paint and get everything ready for shipping out all right farm hands just out here on my deck right now uh, so we got the gumball machine cast iron I got my drill I got the, I got the wire brush on it I got the top piece so what we're gonna do uh, for reef weeds I just want to scuff this all up as much as I can so when she puts her uh, her paint or whatever she ends up using that she's gonna seal all this uh, components for us so it adheres really well to it so I'm pretty excited to see how this is all gonna turn out so here we go let's just start uh, we're just gonna take the wire and we're just gonna start scuffing it all up here wear some safety glasses if you protect your eyes I talked to her she says she doesn't need much but so we're just gonna rough it all up I don't know if any of you guys are on uh, Nano Reef. It's I think the cost is still open. I think it's, it's open until like the 30th. It's cool to see you guys on there. And plus, uh, if you want to check out this build as well, if you look on my new uh, website, farmbyreef.com, it's got all the builds that I'm doing on there right now. And soon have all the contest entries. So you can see that how it's starting to take that shine right off of it and that's what we need so it has something so all her uh, paint can uh, adhere to it so that's turned out really nice pretty impressive. I don't know about you guys like my whole life I always enjoyed uh, you know building stuff inventing stuff that's what it's all about like in this hobby that's what it's great about doing this stuff like using a gumball machine and making it work That looks pretty decent. Do the inside as well, because that's where a lot of the moisture is gonna get captured. So I'll have to make sure and get uh, her to seal this inside. It's coming loose. So there that looks that piece looks like it's done it's all dulled out it's got a little you know it's a little abrasive on there right now so let's go on let's start the bigger part here so you can see you guys can see it's cast because if you look under here you guys can still see a little bit of the silverish going on because they it's just overcast when they uh, misted it so let's start on this one
So I think we pretty much got all the outside all good to go. Pretty satisfied with that. Should probably do a little bit of finishing touches on it. Um, if you guys want to see a lot of her artwork, I ended up getting some nice uh, custom pieces there. A reef koi and a phoenix and uh, taste the rainbow. Pretty nice into the fish room. So this is gonna be pretty cool. Get her to paint this all up, guys. Uh, so if you guys want to check her out on Instagram, it's Reef Weeds. It's awesome. And uh, if you want to see any uh, of her other artwork or get some codes, you guys want to buy some of her own stuff, just head over to my website. I got some uh, nice percentage codes off for you to get some of that artwork as well. All right, so that's pretty decent. Um, I'm gonna go find a box that I can fit this into and we're gonna get this shipped out to FedEx ASAP uh, down to her place and uh, so I can get this back in time. So uh, at the end of the month, make sure it's all ready to go to start uh, filling up and get all the corals in there. All right, guys. All right, so we got that shine that's all off there. It's perfect. And uh, what we're gonna do right now, I got a box. So uh, Reef Weeds, it's coming to you. You can uh, do your magic on there and surprise me uh, what we're gonna end up having and uh, we'll get that shipped back as soon as possible so I can finish it off. So the next videos are gonna come up. We're gonna, we're gonna cut that acrylic. We're gonna get that on the bottom of the, the fish bowl itself, you wanna call it, of the gumball machine. Um, get that all silicone into place. We're gonna start uh, doing all the plumbing. I can do all the glass work stuff now while this is gone until it comes back. So maybe she'll surprise us. It might be on Instagram. You guys can check out her paint jobs and maybe she'll do a live and uh, we'll see what she comes up with. I'm pretty excited and uh, it's gonna be awesome. I wanna see what I can grow in here for corals in the uh, you know on nanoreef.com uh, and enter that contest guys hopefully i'll see you guys on there and uh head over to my uh, my new website at farmboyreef.com i got a lot of cool stuff going on there all my builds uh, different sponsor stuff I've got some cube, uh, coupon codes percentages on if you want to buy some products from them guys so it's awesome as well so thanks for tuning in this guys i really appreciate it so reef weeds this is coming to you please subscribe and hit the like button